archaeologists found an impressive part of the old port. Right here you can see a long wall. Much of it is still not revealed yet, and that was the pier. There was quite a large fleet of fishing boats over here. Behind the pier you can see the remains of a paved street and then a bunch of storehouses, which makes perfect sense because that's where you take the stock and the fish and maybe even some commercial activity because the other side of the Sea of the Galilee is offering you a chance to trade with other people, non-Jews and Jews alike. Right after the pier is over, you can easily see many, many river bends, which means that the Sea of the Galilee indeed was here. It receded several hundred feet during time. Here at Magdala, right on the Sea of Galilee, uh, we have a wonderful remain of uh, a port uh, and docks, um, fishing boats came. Yeshua met the disciples, some of the disciples, fishing along the sea, mending their nets. Now the Bible doesn't say which port they were at, they could have been up at Capernaum, they could have been at any number of ports along the Sea of Galilee, but it doesn't mention. But this one we have at the remain of a port, so this is a good place to tell that story where Yeshua was walking along and he saw Peter and Andrew, James and John working on their father's boat. And he invited them to come and follow him. And Yeshua is calling each one of us to come and follow him. For some of us, that means leaving behind our fishing nets and walking away from serving and helping our, our parents uh, for a time, we still honor our parents always. For some of us, it means we continue to work as fishermen or whatever our occupation and still serving the Lord and still following Him. But for each and every one of us, Yeshua invites us, come and follow me.